Namaste. Morning. Can someone still attain samadhi even if they're more forgiving about their actions, meaning committing mistakes here and there, not being too worried about them, um, not strictly adhering to the rules, and sometimes changing the technicalities of the practice in order to suit their nature and preferences and limitations, yeah. and then just becoming a happy, worry-free practitioner? Yes, definitely. Personally, I'm not your typical yogi. I have my fair share of mistakes on and off the mat. The things I've done, which for most of us would consider crossing the line of safety. Yes, I'm not afraid to explore things. Yeah. Most of my samadhi happens when I'm lying down because I can't sustain sitting for a prolonged period of time. So if I'm relaxed, if I'm lying down, I can focus on the subtleness of the vibrations and therefore I can yeah, attain a deeper sense of meditation and focus. I'm not a vegetarian. I enjoy my food. Yeah. I enjoy human nature, you know, so to speak. I do things common people do. And sometimes I do them excessively. Because I'm an earth element, I'm a Taurus, and yeah. But what's um, in me is the, I say, the resilience, the determination, and the dedication to grow the technique I enjoy doing and not being distracted of the other things I see around me. And that's where Hatha Yoga becomes very helpful because Hatha Yoga teaches us to become very good at that particular technique and not you know, move too fast too soon to the next. And then you realize once the technique you enjoy doing is mastered, you will realize that the other ones may not be necessary anymore. Even if there are hundreds of techniques written there, once you become so good at doing one essential component, then the other ones follow. Good. And then that's the essence of the, the discipline, actually. Because not every one of us can perform or accomplish a certain action because of our nature, our limitations, our preferences. So find what suits you. Find what you love doing. Enjoy it and grow it. And that will stand the test of time. And then once the technique, that particular technique you love doing, become you, or techniques become you, and then you become them. Then you understand their essence. And then you can apply that in your life wherever you are, whatever situations you might be at. See you next time.